sometimes criminal justice policy is out of tune, out of touch with current reality. So the guidelines and the reason that guidelines are so harsh is it really is a result of the drug war um, starting in the 1980s that continued really into the early 2000s, where the drug war, the um, at least in the U.S., although this is true in many uh, European countries, the idea was there was a big fear of drug offenders. The fear was because of media stories as well as movies of the maniacal drug offender who was just so high that they were out of control, that they were violent, uh, but they were also committing property crimes in term in order to get money to fuel their need. Uh, so they were doing a lot of home invasions and what have you. And the public was just very fearful of drug offenders because of this image. And so the criminal justice response was, let's get harsh on penalties. So at that time um, in the 1980s, they had they being policymakers had basically rejected the rehabilitation model that had been popular in the 60s and 70s. And so they started on a trajectory of just increasing this, the penalties for drug offending um, over time. So from time to time, legislatures would revisit and just increase and increase where the penalties were getting harsher and harsher over a you know, two decade period. Well, um, unfortunately, what's happened is that that those policies really have not been rescinded. So today in you know 2023 is the public doesn't have the same fear of drug offenders. Um, whether it was realistic at the time, who knows, but it's certainly it's not a connection we have as much anymore about drug use and violence. But the penalties are still there. They really have not been ratcheted back.